Hey everybody, it's Sterling with JDS Labs. Today, I'm gonna to help you get started with your new Element 3. Step one, connect the included AC power adapter to the rear of Element. For safety reasons, it's important that you only use the power adapter that came in the box. Step two, connect your input device to Element 3. You can use the included USB-A to USB-B cable for most computers and laptops. For phones and tablets, use a USB-C to USB-B cable, which can be requested during checkout or purchased from our shop. You may also connect via the optical jack if your device supports it. There is no discernible difference in quality between optical and USB inputs. With Element powered on, you can toggle between the two modes by pressing the volume knob. You can confirm the input mode on the display. Keep in mind the volume knob is configurable. Jump to the settings chapter of this video for more detail. Step three. Now that you're ready, go ahead and connect your headphones to the headphone jack at the front of the amp. Make sure your headphones have a quarter inch TRS jack or adapter. If you use a headset with a mic, you will need a special TRRS adapter. We have a specialty splitter cable for this very purpose. There's a link in the description below. Step four, if you like to listen with a pair of desktop monitors, you can plug those into the RCA outputs on the back. To switch between headphones and speakers, you can use the toggle button on the back of Element. What mode you are in will also appear on the display. Settings, Element 3 comes with several smart features for your enjoyment. High and low gain is handled automatically. As you adjust your volume, Element will automatically adjust the gain stage only switching to high gain when necessary. Volume levels are conveniently displayed on the OLED screen. For reference, the typical listening range is between negative 50 dB to negative 20 dB for most dynamic and planar headphones. If you would like to adjust the settings of your Element 3, press down and hold the volume dial for three seconds. Doing so will enter the menu where you can configure the LEDs and buttons, and refine settings like knob speed, volume steps, and auto gain. I won't go into detail here, but much more description is available in the PDF instruction manual. And that's it. If you have any additional questions, go ahead and check out our troubleshooting page at jdslabs.com forward slash support. And for anything else, go ahead and just get in touch with us directly. We'd love to hear from you.